Yo, so this is going to be a video about concatenative synthesis, which is a bit of a niche technique that's becoming uh, somewhat more popular recently for some reason. Um, so what I'm going to be using to explain this is the plugin uh, Graffiti by Red Tempera Audio. There's also a couple of other plugins you can use for this. There's the standalone open source software Audio Stellar. There's the Datamind Audio Concatenator. There's the Max for Life device Corpus Concatibus. There's a couple and I'm going to be using this. So basically concatenative synthesis is kind of a, I would call it a specialized category of granular synthesis that kind of combines granular synthesis and data analysis. So you usually start with a corpus of samples. In my case, I'm just going to use a bunch of my glass samples here from my glass pack available now on my gum road available been available there for a long time to be honest i'm gonna put all of these in here and then we can set analysis parameters so in this case i want to analyze analyze the sound by i don't know noisiness and slope on x and y axis and basically it's gonna chop all of these sounds into tiny little grains and then um sort them on this graph here on the x and y axis and then we can kind of scrub through this graph here to um, play back these grains and because they're all sorted by kind of similarity we get this nice kind of continuation between grains so i'm going to put an ott on this just to kind of um, level out the the volume a bit because um usually this these grains are all kind of different volumes here so if i just kind of um, draw a line on here you can see it kind of attaching all these different grains to each other and that got way too loud let me just limit it a bit more. And then we get a couple grain parameters, kind of classic stuff, the grain shape here. So the volume envelope of each grain, how close the grains are to each other, the grain size, um, the grain pitch. Then we can also spread these in stereo. Or we can reverse some of the grains. Kind of depending on which analysis parameters we choose, we can kind of get different sounds. So we can chug a bunch of different samples into this and kind of just let it sort them on the map and then scrub through it and find new kind of motion than this. Um, yeah, I, I'm uh, just going to show you some more examples, I guess, because this is kind of a sound that you that you kind of um, have to know and then i usually like noisiness and slope but you can also sort them like by loudness and pitch or whatever you can up to you you can experiment with these parameters yourself um and then i'm just gonna i don't know maybe get like bases here instead and see what that sounds like so we're gonna clear the corpus here chuck some bases in it's gonna chop those bases analyze them put them on a graph here once again uh, let's maybe yeah, let's keep with noisiness and slope. So we can kind of create new bases from bases we had, like these are the bases. And, and such, and then it kind of chops them up into grains and we just get different kind of sounds by moving through these grains. <laughs> And then we can also make it follow this path and stuff. I'm not going to demo that now. Or we can use like a region here instead. And get lots of kind of new interesting sounds from a sample library. So yeah, this is really not much theory you need to understand for this. It's more just fun to play with and then kind of figure out a way to post process them nicely to get them all sort of sticking together a bit more. Let's maybe play with the grain size a bit just so you can hear that. You know. Um, let's turn the stereo spread down and maybe the reverse. So yeah, lots of kind of 
one new gestures to be discovered this way using concatenative synthesis. Um, let me just maybe open a new Firefox window to quickly show you some other alternatives you can use for this. So there's, and let me actually make sure you can see this. You can see this, this frame here. So there's Corporus Concativus for Max for Life. Free device by Vibros, uh, pretty cool. It's kind of very similar to this plugin, just lets you sort these drains on a map, choose like analysis parameters, the X and Y axis, all the usual stuff. And then there's also um, Audio Stellar, which is kind of a standalone software that then also lets you sort samples into folders and stuff. But you can once again see, you get all these, these points on this map and you can kind of cycle through the map. This has some kind of cool um, generative synthesis things built in like you can have different sequences and you can have like particles and you can have a morphs and you have can have like a, a burst of particles really cool for making claps and stuff then there's also the um, data mind audio um, the concatenator that's not something i've used myself because it's uh, quite expensive and I've, I've not gotten myself to buy this yet gonna take a while to load but basically this this then also uses this analysis to kind of resynthesize other other sounds using these grains so basically it analyzes your sound as a path on this 2d map and then plays back that same path using some, some kind of um corpus you put into it so yeah that's that's concatenate synthesis that's all there is to say about it really um have a play with it yourself. A lot of these plugins aren't free, but for example, Audio Stellar is free. Um, and uh, if you're using Ableton, the Vibros device is free. So um, really fun kind of experimental sound design technique that kind of takes granular synthesis to the next level. Cheers.